I literally feel like crying. <laughs> First thing on the to-do list today, I've got a meeting call with my manager. Hi, Saf. How are you? Good, thanks. How are you? Hello, guys, and welcome to a little week in my life vlog. I don't usually film these kind of videos because I feel like my life can be kind of boring, especially at the moment because I am between houses, looking for a house, living at my parents. But fun fact, these are actually my favorite videos to watch on YouTube. So this is a very realistic, mundane, and honest week in my life. I was actually feeling a little down this day, so I was just putting on some makeup to make me feel better. Mentally, I've been feeling so much better since making fitness a priority and going to the gym regularly. Also that Huda Beauty color corrector I just used is my absolute favorite. Before I used to just want to show myself on social media when I was feeling my best but I think it's good to remember that sometimes we have off days or off weeks and a lot of time people on social media don't show that stuff. Social media is usually a highlight reel. So here's some life updates. I've been living back in Canberra now for almost three months and we still haven't found the right house to buy yet and being stuck in my parents house isn't ideal but I know it's temporary and it's definitely contributed to this feeling that I am stuck lately. Feeling a bit like I'm not doing enough, like I'm not growing, but I'm also trying to be grateful for the things that I do have. I was going to do my hair, but I don't have time because Molly's coming right now and we're going to go and get our nails done together. Personal opinion, I hate getting my nails done by myself. It is so boring, but these are my nails before. Definitely in need of a change. My hands look orange. I have been back in my workout game recently and I wanted some new gym outfits. So I have the cutest Halara haul ever to show you. It's not just active wear, I also got some casual wear as well. Halara is kindly sponsoring this portion of the video, but this is all of my honest opinions. But I have been absolutely loving this set. It's like a shapewear and a legging in one. We all know I love tummies. Tummies are the cutest, but look at this. Just so good if I'm feeling bloated or, you know, if I'm just feeling like I want a bit more support in the stomach area. This sports bra is also so cute. It has inbuilt padding, but you can take it out if you want. But look at the back of this sports bra. Is that not so cute? And to make it even better, I got this jacket. It has thumb holes. I feel like the hottest MILF going on a hot girl walk when I wear this. I want this in every single color. I also love me some flare pants for working out. So I got these adorable blue ones as well. And I love the crossover on the front. This is the same material as the last. It's not the tummy control, but also looks so amazing. This is actually my first time trying this one on, so we're gonna look at it at the same time. It's this jumpsuit. Okay, I actually love this. This is so stinking cute. Are you kidding me? I feel like Mario, but slay. It's got a little pocket at the front as well, and it's like this waffle material, and it's so comfy as well. It's got these massive pockets. I am so happy I bit the bullet and went for this. I also got their viral waffle work pants and I understand why they're viral. These have exceeded my expectations. They're so stretchy, the perfect fit, but they're so comfy and like have room for your stomach to breathe. And here's the next activewear set that I got. I've also already worn this to the gym, but it does have the pockets in the leggings. These aren't the tummy control leggings though. They're the crossover ones. But isn't the style of this top just adorable? And the back as well. I love the back. And for when it's a little bit chilly, I got the cutest little matching long sleeve top. Obviously the colors are a little bit different, but it still goes. And this one has thumb holes as well. I also got the tummy control leggings in this kind of slate gray color. Love this color, it goes with everything. And I'll insert a picture of me wearing this, but it's a long sleeve top with a built-in bra. A must have for sure. And I was saving my absolute favorite for last and it is this activewear dress, which Halara absolutely slays their activewear dresses. Built-in shorts plus pockets in the shorts 
built-in sports bra. Like this is so supportive. I was playing pickleball in this for hours and it held up so nicely. It was so comfy and it has this really cute twist design at the back and a little clasp at the top. And that is everything that I got from Halara that I've been absolutely loving. Let me know down in the comments which was your favorite piece. If you want to shop any of these pieces from Halara, I'll have the links down below. Highly recommend. I absolutely love all these pieces I'm showing you. And you can use code SUSIE for 20% off full price items at Halara. <laughs> Got myself a coffee. This is my post gym treat. Oat cappuccino. Mmm, so good. So let's do a Monday reset. So I've got an entire list here and I've just been feeling frazzled lately. I haven't done a reset in a while and I could really use one. I feel like doing all of this stuff just clears my head, sets me up for the week and I feel so much better. I've got to do a few things like do an everything shower, wash and blow dry my hair, laundry, water my plants, deep clean everything, plan my week. But the first thing we need to get started with is the laundry because you guys should see how much my laundry has piled up. I have filled my hamper and another hamper. I don't even have any undies left. That's how bad it is. There's one load. I would say I only have about four more after this. <laughs> now it's time for a shower and I'm gonna wash my hair as well because she's due. But to wash my hair, I'm just using this Monday Smooth Shampoo and Conditioner at the moment. And I'm also gonna use the Fenola Restructuring Mask, which is like a washout hair mask. And I'm almost done with it. It smells so good. I'm trying to use all of my products before I buy any new products at the moment. Under Consumption Core. Kind of. For my cleanser, I've been loving this Innisfree Volcanic BHA Pore Cleansing Foam. This is my current facial cleanser. And for my whole body, I usually just use some Dermavene Soap Free Wash because it's gentle and sensitive. But for a little bit nicer of a smell, I'll use this Hemp Company Body Buff Exfoliant in Pink Pomelo. And this is like a little scrub, which smells so good. Time to get clean. wearing a towel i'm not naked this is my new dry brush that i got off of amazon and i've been using it to do like my exfoliation especially under my armpits because i have quite dark skin under my armpit and i heard that this is good for lightening it and some moisturizer i almost just flashed <laughs> I was just hanging out the washing and I was like, why are my armpits burning? Do not put deodorant on right after you've just dry brushed and also shaved your armpits. It's so bad. This is like when I burn off my mustache. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna put another load of washing on now. I'm gonna do a little Dyson blowout. I actually did a tutorial on Instagram and TikTok if you wanna check out like the step-by-step -step tutorial. I love my Dyson so much. Love this way leave-in conditioner. It smells so good. Some heat protectant spray and the Color Wow Dream Coat. I don't know what it is, but I am just having a very anxious Monday. But I think if I get all of this cleaning done and just really focus on that today, I'll have a much better tomorrow. But the bad thing about doing the washing is you actually have to fold it and put it away, which is my least favorite part. I made the mistake of putting my plants under the heater because I had nowhere else to put them in this house. And now they all look like this. I swore I was gonna be a good plant mum. Plant rehab time. I tell you what, if you want a plant that 
is impossible to kill, this guy right here, nothing phases him. The bathroom probably doesn't even look that bad at first glance. Scooby Dooby Doo, where are you? We have some work to do now. But when you look up close, it's dirty. I have not given it a deep clean since I first moved back to Canberra. I'm just starting by putting all the little things away so I can clean the surfaces. I feel like I get discouraged to deep clean it on camera because it's not as aesthetic as other bathrooms I see online. But realistically, not many people's bathrooms are aesthetic. So this is an unesthetic bathroom cleaning. And even if your space doesn't look exactly like you want it to, doesn't mean you shouldn't treat it good and keep it clean. Still be grateful for the things that you have. And this is where she died. Just got shivers in the dining room. <laughs> well, I didn't, and I'm closer to death than you are. Why would you say something like that? Well, it's true. Horrible thing to say. Just it's actually a good size for a non suite. It's excellent. I actually quite like the green tiles. It's very pretty. This is a little bit dark, this room. And I would have to put heating and cooling in because it's only got gas. And this is the backyard. It's an all right. It's quite a small backyard, but... And the bathroom is finally done. It feels so much better in here. That took me about two hours, but I did have to stop halfway through to go view a house. And it feels amazing. Spring has sprung and I literally have nowhere else for my clothes to go in this room. It's been rough going from an entire house to one singular room and I don't know where to put everything. Here is what this cupboard is currently looking like. Half of this is like crochet that mum's made. I must have left a hole when I left in mum's heart because she decided to fill it with yarn and it's everywhere. So I've got this box here and I'm just gonna pack away any of my super heavy winter clothes that I'm not gonna need. Don't worry about what you can't control. So I'm just gonna try and make my current situation as comfortable as possible and not dwell on the fact that I'm stuck at my parents' house. <laughs> here is where we are at now. There is so much more space and this is literally filled to the brim. So now this gets to go in the front room so I don't have to see it until we find a place. <laughs> So recently I have been back in the gym doing Stronger by B and I feel so good for it. And I managed to get in the habit of fixing my sleep schedule and getting up for the 6.45 a.m. class every morning. And yes, that video is coming soon. It is a special day this morning. The day where I'm in the mood for protein pancakes and I actually am pretty sure I have all the ingredients. I ordered some stuff from Naked Harvest. This was bought with my own money. I did, however, use my own code for Naked Harvest, which is code Sue. 15 if you're wondering <laughs> but I got a couple of different things for my fitness journey first up I got their moon milk it's a chocolate milk that's sugar-free and has like magnesium in it to help you get to sleep I've tried it before and really like it and I also got Georgia's new collab with Naked Harvest because I'm really trying to cut down on my caffeine this is a caffeine free pre-workout and finally I got some some creatine which was the main reason I ordered because I've been wanting to try creatine for so long it is supposed to encourage your muscles to grow Bianca recommended it she said she used to use it and it was fine she's got PCOS as well excited to start using this and see if I see a difference and that's everything I got from make it happen <laughs> one teaspoon and some water and it's got like a Milo tin lid love that okay let's try a yeah, I don't really taste anything. That is so good that it doesn't have a taste because that means I could add it to anything and I wouldn't be able to notice it. And now we'll just see if I turn into a muscly woman. A cup of oats and I'm just gonna add the banana because it's about to go off anyway. Two and a quarter teaspoons of baking powder. A quarter of a cup of protein powder. I'm using the Naked Harvest Vanilla Plant Protein. A third of a cup of Greek yogurt. A quarter of a teaspoon of vanilla extract. And three eggs. Now we blend. Taste test. Those are some of the most amazing protein pancakes I've ever had. 
10 out of 10. This is my new recipe. And on top, I'm just gonna have some Greek yogurt, some strawberries, and the tinsiest little bit of maple syrup. And this is breakfast. Oh my God, that looks so amazing. Yum. Just gonna do a little cake wedge like this. Oh my God, that's so good. This protein pancake recipe is so good, guys. Mm, 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 mm. I'm gonna have like eight of these. That's amazing. We have unlocked a new location. This is my brother's and sister-in-law's house. And you probably saw it way back when, when I did the Alexis Ren video. I was also house sitting here, but they're in England. So I'm house sitting here for the next three weeks. So excited to be here. Murray's staying here with me as well. And it just makes me so excited for when we finally find a place and get to move out because the silence, just having everything the way that I put it, Stay that way. I love it. But also look at the gym outfit this morning. I've been getting so many questions on Instagram where my new activewear sets are from and they are all new ones from Halara. I need to go to the gym and get a workout in because I did miss the morning session this morning. But I think this coffee is making me need to go to the toilet first. So gonna go do that. By the way, if you guys haven't seen my recent Stairmaster video, make sure to watch that. I started going to the gym consistently whilst doing that video, and I'm now just doing the gym and also walking. I have been planning to get back into running, but I just haven't quite found the motivation to do running and the gym just yet. And I'm thinking I'm gonna have to sign myself up for a 5K just so I can motivate myself to do it. But it has been so long since I took weight training seriously, and I've been loving getting stronger. I am definitely back in my health and fitness era, and it feels amazing. Except wall sits are literally the devil. I just had to do some work at mum and dad's house, went to the gym, played with Smokey, my brother's dog, and now I need to go to the grocery shop and do some meal prepping as well. I think I'm gonna make like healthy Chipotle bowls for dinner. Murray's coming over later after the gym. Let's go do some grocery shopping. I've got a big list of things to get. I did fall out of the habit of making all of my own meals just since living with my parents, mum's made a lot of dinners for me. Here's me forgetting that my phone is on the scale and thinking, that this lemon was $3.33. Honestly, wouldn't be surprised with Woolworths prices. And I'm back. I literally just got the stuff for breakfast and dinner, and that cost $70. But I did think that that lemon was $3.33, and it was because my phone was on the scale. <laughs> and there is dinner, the homemade burrito bowl. And Murray just said it's better than Zambrero's, which says a lot, because Murray loves Zambrero's. And the salsa is so good. I just went to the gym, but I'm just over at my parents' place picking up some stuff and I got a very exciting order. I filmed with the Sony ZV E10 and I just filmed with the lens that came with it, but I've been really wanting a wide angle lens so you can see more of the background. And I got one, $600 I think, which is actually quite cheap. And I ended up getting it because I saw Connor got the same one and it looked so good. And here it is. It's the Sony E11 millimeter F1.8 and I got it from George's cameras, but here is the lens. The only thing is I'm pretty sure you can't zoom, but that's okay because I hardly ever zoom anyway and I'll still have this lens if I do want to zoom. Let's do a little camera test. This is the current camera, my old camera lens. This is it when I'm holding it. You can see how far away I look like I am, how much you can see of the background. And this is the new camera lens. Look how much more wide angle that is. Oh, I can manual, oh, I can do a little tinsy zoom. There you go. Please comment down below and let me know if you like this lens or my old lens better. You can literally see my entire room. Oh my God, I'm obsessed. Stop, I love this. And if you guys remember Frances, if you've been watching my channel for a while, I went to visit her in her new apartment that she bought. And she kindly made me some delicious stuffed gnocchi for dinner. It feels like we were just seven year olds yesterday at primary school and now we're both so grown up. Hello guys, it is Friday. I was not even gonna film today because honestly today has been a bit of a nightmare. <laughs> it's currently 3.30 p.m. and I have gotten 
nothing on my to-do list done. I've talked about this on TikTok, but I am going down a dose on my antidepressants. And I talked to my psychiatrist about it and we decided that it was a good idea to start weaning off of them. But last night I completely forgot to take them at all. So I woke up so groggy this morning and I've been having brain zaps because I literally felt like I'd been punched in the face when I woke up. If you have never taken antidepressants, lucky girl, but I'm going to try and give myself grace. I've taken my antidepressant now, but I still don't feel 100%. And I am actually really excited because I'm going out to dinner to see Murray and I's friends from the Gold Coast have come down to visit. But first I need to clean this kitchen. So I'm gonna watch some Samantha Joe whilst I do that. I got ready for the gym and everything and even drove there and I was sitting outside on the verge of tears and I was like, okay, maybe this can wait until tomorrow. <laughs> Susie needs to go and have a nice time with her friends tonight and just chill. I literally feel like crying. <laughs> I feel so manic right now. Okay, Susie, stop procrastinating. Don't worry guys, it's a couple weeks later me recording this voiceover and I am feeling much better now since going down on my antidepressants. I've been taking them since I was 17 and I am now 24, so I think it's time to start weaning off of them. So far my worst side effect has been struggling to get to sleep at night and struggling to wake up in the morning. And my mood was very up and down at first, but it has gone back to normal, which I'm so happy about. Later that night we got to see our friends Matt and Ebony who came down from the Gold Coast to visit. I was so sad to leave these guys in the Gold Coast so it was so nice to see them and catch up. And we went out to Lazy Sue in Canberra which if you know you know. For dessert we had a bubble tea creme brulee which is like two of my favorite things ever combined and it was just as good as it looked. One of my goals since moving back to Canberra is to make an effort to go out and see friends more, go out to dinner and the next morning we decided to organize to take Matt and Ebony to Floria which is a tulip and flower festival that happens in Canberra every spring. Don't mind if I do. Thank you. Get the gold. Oh no! I want a rain gauge. Yay! <gasps> That's beautiful. Oh my god, that is so gorgeous. And of course I forgot to outro this video, but we had such a lovely time at Floriade and I hope you guys enjoyed this little mundane week in my life, which actually ended up being a great week in my life. And it really is all about the little things, guys. Please subscribe and like if you haven't. And thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.